I'm too excited. I can't be too smiley. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Bethany Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so excited to be doing another video. Happy New Year, by the way. I know we're two months in, but I'm back. I have some wicked videos lined up for you guys. Another day, another Starbies. Has anybody watched that girl on TikTok? Because I freaking love her. I just went and got my lunch from Sainsbury's and I'm wildly disappointed. Can I just I've got a fruit salad for... 75p and it's soggy i know you're probably thinking well what the fuck do you expect it's reduced it's 99p shanice yeah your mouth is uh moving a lot like a rat yappa 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 shut it please so today's video i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me just as a bit of an introduction little catch up with the girls and the gays you know how it is I hate coming on here barefaced because the world can see how much of a catfish I am. But. Baby. You're about to see the drip. You're about to see the drip. You're about to see the drip. By the way, I have moisturised, put all my serums on, exfoliated, soaked my brows. So before you bitches come for me in the comments, I do know how to do my makeup. Cheers. Do you know what? I keep seeing this TikTok of this girl and I really want to try it. She literally puts a fuck ton of foundation all on her face, rubs it in with her fingers, with her hands, like my mother does, puts more on and then blends it in with a, a beauty blender. And at first it looks disgusting, like she puts it all over her lips, everything. <clears throat> um, but at the end, it's like flawless. And I don't know if it's just the lighting, because girls, if you know, like, if you've got, like, vanity lights, ring lights, when you do your makeup at your dressing table, you think you look fire. You're like, fuck yes, like, I, this is a beat. I am Molly Mae, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian in the flesh. Then you step out into the natural light and everyone's screaming at your face. You look like you've used your Barbie makeup set from 2001 to put your makeup on. I don't know if I want to try it. Maybe not today. Maybe not today, girls. Maybe not today. If you haven't seen it, go have a look. Because once she d finishes her makeup and she, you know, contours, conceals, bakes, does all that shit, it actually looks amazing. But as I said, lighting can be deceiving. So, talking of TikTok, um, my girl, Olivia Neal, has anybody heard about the shit that's been going on with her? Apparently, I didn't see it, but apparently there was a, a video or a picture of Olivia, Flossie and Lewis. I love them. I literally adore all three of them. If you haven't watched them, go watch because sensational. There was a picture or a video with lines of cocaine in the background. Literally, the internet blew up about it. Obviously, because she she does have a young following. There was lines of cocaine in the background and she apparently got completely cancelled for it. I've seen it all over TikTok. I feel sorry for the girl, man. I know that she was dealing with a lot of hate before this happened anyway, because if you saw her video of where she goes to stay in a hotel alone, she was doing that to deal with kind of like the trolling and shit like that and the hate that she gets. The internet can be really, really difficult, especially if you've got a large, large following. How do people do get ready with these? I'm getting out of breath. Why am I getting out of breath? I'm just fucking blending foundation into my skin. I look ill right now. If you are one of the, pe if you are one of the people that are cancelling Olivia Neal, I think you should have a really good look at yourself. She's literally a 19 year old girl, maybe 20, I don't know. I think she's younger than I am. Who cares about other people's opinions? It's got nothing to do with you, Kevin from fucking Southport. You know what I mean? Like 36 year old men being like, oh my God, she's got no ass. Like, okay. Does she ask? No. So this is the look that I call crack addict. Sponsor me, beauty blender. <laughs> Who has been watching this season of Drag Race UK? Because I can tell you now, before this season, I think I watched the start of season one with, you know, bag of chips. That's probably the only person I can um name from that series this series i'm hooked absolutely amazing all the queens are just individually 
fucking amazing. I love it. I love it. Comment down below with your favourite queen, guys. I'd love to know. My two favourites will probably have to be Lawrence Chaney and Bimini. I just love them both for very different reasons, but I think they are amazing. Taste is just so beautiful. If you haven't watched it yet, go do it. Trust me, this season is one that you don't want to miss. Christmas was a tough time. Sadly, my granddad passed away. You can't really put a time on how quickly you're going to um how quickly you're going to deal with the loss of someone with my granddad it was pretty difficult for all of the family because i kind of feel that it was like a long battle over the years like, i think it was like in 2008 maybe 2009 maybe after that but it was a very long time he was um battling with alzheimer's it was very difficult to to take in i talk about my granddad all the time like he is like the model man that i would dream to marry one day like he was such a gentleman like to everybody that he met everyone that he passed in the street all the friends that he had like he was such a such a love loved man i've been dealing with that in my own sort of way and like with lockdown it's been very difficult to kind of like maintain my mental health having to grieve someone at the same time but you've just got to find ways of helping your mental health. A really good thing that I found over um, the lockdown, my mum got me this book, it's Keep Going, it's from Wilco, I think it's only a couple of good. Inside, it has pages which say, today I'm grateful for, and then you kind of write in what you're grateful for. What would make today a great day? You write that in. I am, write something about yourself, something positive, like I am strong, I am pretty, I am good at my job, I am productive, like write something positive about yourself. Um, and then when it gets to the night time, just before bed, you write in three of the best things that have happened in your day. And this book has literally been a lifesaver for me because especially when my mental health isn't great, this book is just great for like tracking your positive thoughts. This year, I really wanted to apply for Love Island, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh. Last year, I really wanted to go for Love Island and so many people kept saying to me, Bethany, apply for Love Island, apply for Love Island. So my, my best friend Neve basically said to me like, come on, like, you've got to do it, like get in there before applications close. But this year is the most applicants the show has ever had in the history of the show, which isn't surprising, obviously, because we've had lockdown and everybody is desperate to get away on holiday. So I guess I'm just gonna have to try and blow this channel up. Maybe in like all of my videos, I should just, you know how they say that your phone listens to you? I, I fully believe in that. I think what I'm just gonna do in all my videos is just say Love Island in every single one. Just sneak it in somewhere in the video and Love Island will just come across my videos. Love Island. Love Island. Love Island. I'm aware I look like a crazy bitch right now, okay? You don't need to fucking tell me. Do you remember when you used to cry like that when you were little, or is that just me? Like, your mum would literally have a fucking screaming match with you. Like, she'd have a massive go at you and you were seven and you'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> like, not even being able to breathe. Maybe a skull shows from the front door! <laughs> Bear heart hyperventilating just because your mum told you off. Who reckons we're going to be making it to IB for this year? Because I still have a bit of hope in my heart, guys, that I will be dancing on a stage in Ibiza at some point this year. It's my 21st birthday this year. And I swear to God, if I miss it, I'm going to be like... <laughs> I've been looking forward to my 21st birthday for a very long time. I'm just hoping this coronavirus shit will be over soon. Probably one of the worst bits of makeup I've ever done in my life. But it's just for the chat, girls, and it's just for the chat valentine's day is coming up girls oh yeah i don't know why i'm getting so gassed because i definitely won't be getting any attention on valentine's day <laughs> i don't think i've ever had a valentine maybe once i cannot re like i dream of having like a full-on valentine's day you know these, these girls that like get whisked off to the shard and like have roses in their bathtub and balloons on the ceiling I'd be happy with a fucking box of Ferrero Rochers and a bloody rose. So if anyone wants to be my Valentine, you can just ask and I will probably say yes. Single girl, reveal yourself!
shit about myself. Go on. Fuck one, babe. Switch your number still. Another trend that I have been literally dying at is this new ick trend. Like, what gives you the ick? I think it's fucking hilarious. I gotta read you guys some examples. My ick is the thought of them getting run over. The embarrassment. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. After they've eaten a bowl of spaghetti and they get their little orange stains around their lips. No, can't do it. I've seen boys scream on a roller coaster. So you don't let your mans have fun. Bum cracks. Bum cracks in general, I don't see how that can give you ick, babe. Because we've got to shit somehow. But if there's like a boy or a man like bent over and his batty crease is come to say hello. No! When they lose their balance on the train and wobble. Got no core strength, babes. Thing that I'm obsessed with. I'm not sponsored, but I could be revolution. I'm obsessed. Green is like my favorite color. I'm joking, it's definitely pink, but I used to say it was green because I thought it made me look edgy. Guys, I want to know the first thing that you're doing when you get out of lockdown. Like literally, Boris Johnson is on the telly tonight. He's scheduled an announcement for 8 p.m. What are you doing? What? Where are you going? Pubs are open, clubs are open, swimming pools are open, British Airways is open. Where are you going? I'd have to say the first thing that I love to do out of lockdown is just go for a meal i just miss being able to sit in a restaurant like with a glass of wine or a cocktail okay, so we're almost there i was gonna do my hair in this video as well but <laughs> guess what i've been talking for england guys i have to say like this is the worst makeup i've ever done but i ain't going anywhere i just did it to see you guys just did it for a chat any girls i feel like we've had a real good chat though guys i really feel like we've had a great catch up today I hope everyone's doing well. I hope lockdown's treating you okay. Also, I'm obsessed with this scrunchie at the minute. Hello. B&M. You guys know I only do bargains, B&M, bitch. So that concludes today's video. Thank you for getting ready with me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, give me a subscribe, like, and a share. Put your comments down below. They will all go greatly appreciated. Um, if you haven't already, give my socials a quick follow too for lots of content updates. Um, it's been great filming again. Thank you so much for watching. Um, see you soon.